Welcome back, my name is Jacques, I'm from Hostcar and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install ZAMP on a Windows computer. I've got a couple of requests from Peter, Rian and, and Lydia to, to just show you how to install a local host on your personal computer. This is an, an environment that you can use as a web developer or programmer to, to run your scripts or test them and and actually get your websites for your clients up and running before you actually upload it to, to the server or the hosting environments so it's just saving you time to, to re-upload FTP files back and forth so most definitely this will be the option for you as a web developer or programmer to use without any internet connections right so I'm just gonna cover how to install XAMPP on a Windows computer it just the whole system the XAMPP system forms it's open source and it forms part of like the Apache web server PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin and some additional add-ons which we're not going to cover in this video it just acts as a hosting environment on your local PC so so just take note that that this can save you a ton of time well back in the day we actually had to install Apache web server and then install PHP MySQL and PHP my my admin individually and it was such a headache to to set up this whole system and we can just thank uh, Apache friends to to compile this whole solution into one exe file and you can download it for free there's no monthly subscriptions so let's go over there and get you started we point our browser to apachefriends.org and then click on ZAMP there's a Linux version, a, a Macintosh and a Solaris version, but for this tutorial it's Windows for us. So let's scroll down, we're going to install a XAMPP Lite. So we're going to download the EXE file. I've, EXE file, I've already done that. So let's just double click on the file, run it. And the destination folder we can keep intact on the C drive. So let's just start extracting these files. And then once we've extracted all these files, we we can just do a sample site and a structure just to show you how to get all your clients uh, folders uh, into place and actually develop their, their websites on, on the local host. Right, so we're just waiting for, for this to extract and it will start the installation process for us. So I'm just, just going to pause the video and I'll get back to you right it's done and now we it's just asking us should I add shortcuts we can just leave this all on default so I'm just gonna select this yes and should I create the paths yes that's fine do that for me I'm just gonna select no for this I'm just gonna get this up and running as quick as possible and then we just press on OK again on enter and we just say um, continue select one to start the XAM control panel there's a lot of other configurations but we're not going to cover this so I'm just going to exit that and what we will have to do is I, I'm always starting this as a service Apache and MySQL that's the only two that, that you really need you can make use of the FTP files etc Tomcat and Mercury but let's start the services I'm just waiting for my machine to actually start it okay, and we can start the MySQL. So, so you can go to your admin screen by clicking on that button it will just show us that the localhost was installed successfully like you can see you can go over to status security the security settings is just if you like to to give uh, the outside world access to actually view the websites but I won't recommend it for security reasons just leave that so let's go over to our local host I'm gonna show you a sample where I'm actually gonna install a Joomla site but first of all I want to show you how to create a user for yourself because the default user is on root and there's no password like you see here so we just go over and add a new user I'm just gonna call this my name Jacques um, it's obviously local host and just give it a password for now password you can generate a more secure password I would advise you to do that to grant all the privileges and select or check all these functions so that you've got access to to all the functions in PHP my admin right we've created the user 
can click on privileges and you will see Jacques was successfully created. Now we're going to go over to our localhost and actually create a Joomla database. So for each client that you're going to create a Joomla website, Joomla works with databases so you have to set up a database. HTML, HTM files don't need databases. So I mean it's just for 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 actual scripts that, that makes use of a database. You will go to PHP my admin before you do in the installation create a database for for that installation. Alright we've successfully created this. I'm just going to create a shortcut. We can just close that. We can just create a shortcut to to our desktop because we're gonna use this a lot. So create a shortcut shortcut of your HD docs to your desktop and this is the folder where all your websites will be created on the localhost. I'm just going to create a Joomla test site quickly and then you can structure this by selecting all your clients. Uh, let's say we've got a client Safari, we've got a client that would like a Apple Store so this is the client for my Apple Store right so we've got a client Safari Apple and you will throw all the files in this folder to start that new installation or client script right so we're just going to do Joomla you can run over to joomla.org get yourself a copy of Joomla it's free it's open source and I've already downloaded that so I've got it here on my desktop you can select all the files by pressing Control A Control C is copy and sorry for that let's just close this quickly and reopen this in my Joomla folder and I can paste all these files that Joomla needs to install the script right I'm just gonna pause this and come back when it's finished okay great we've copied all the Joomla files to our folder let's close this let me just show you in our HD docs I've got a Joomla folder this is for our test installation all the files are located in here and now we can start the installation all right so let's go over to our folder that will be localhost forward slash Joomla and we press enter on the keyboard it will start the installation of Joomla we just go next next we agree to the terms and we can just put in the local host for our host name, our username that was the one that I've created in PHP my admin was Jacques and the password was password and then the database name was Joomla we created in PHP my admin just click next I'm not going to use FTP now just give it a site name my site just my email and we just select password for the password right we can install the sample data and we can go on to next it's finished now the first thing you need to know is that you need to underscore this installation folder or just completely remove it whichever is the securest way for you and then click on site and there's our Joomla installation so we've successfully installed Joomla on our localhost we don't have we don't need internet for this and that will be our first website that we can work on now we, you will also see that we can go to the back office and that was the user admin uh, with the password password when we did the installation we can log in and we inside our back office and then we can start creating new sections articles categories uh, etc right uh, this will cover the section of how to install ZAMP on, a, on, on your personal computer thank you very much for watching my name is Jacques I will be, I'll bring out more videos soon and thank you for watching and enjoy the festive season bye